What's up you guys? Right now, we are going to install a couple of operating system on our VMware workstation. I highly advise for you to try this one along with me. Watching is good, but trying to do this is better so that you can also practice and verify your ideas. Before we start, there will be some ISO file that you will need and it's downloadable online. I'll put the link below where you can get it. I suggest for you to try different kind of OS like Ubuntu, CentOS, Kali, and even Windows Server 2016 so that you can have the skills and know what it takes to become a penetration tester or even a system administrator using Linux or Windows. Check this one out. I have here a various of OS ISO. I'll install some of them. Make sure you pause this video a couple of times so that you can follow along with me. Let's start by installing Ubuntu Desktop. Click File, New Virtual Machine, Custom Advance, Workstation 15.x. I will install the operating system later. Next. Since we are gonna install Ubuntu, that will be Linux, and we just need to change the version. Ubuntu 64. By the way, in case you're wondering, a guest operating system can be different from the host operating system. For example, you can run a Linux distribution in a VMware player installed in a Windows machine. Click Next. Here's the name of your virtual machine and the location where it will be saved. You can change this one, but I will leave this as it is. The processor. The number of processor vary on the OS or app that you will install. Since this is a Linux, I'll go with one. Hmm. 2 gig of memory, I think that is enough. Since we are just practicing, I put a minimal specs for this device. Again, the speed or capability of your machine rely on the processor and memory. Consider the application or server requirements of this VM so that you can decide. But if you want more, that is also possible. Click Next. For the network type, it doesn't matter whatever you choose right now since I'm also planning to change it later. Next. LSI Logic for my controller type since it is recommended. SCSI for my disk type. I'll create a new virtual disk. You can specify the maximum disk size that you want on your virtual machine. But as of now, I'll leave it 20 gig. Next. For the disk file, next again. So this is the summary of the things that you put on your virtual machine. So let's click finish. From what I told you, I will change some settings in our Ubuntu. So I right click settings. I'll connect my Ubuntu to my host only virtual switch. So click custom and choose BMNet1 host only. The ISO file or the CD file should be put on the CD slash DVD SATA. So just need to locate it, click use ISO images and click browse. Look for it. And maybe this is the right verb. Click open. And click OK. In that case, I think we can already start our virtual machine. It's loading as of now. While waiting, I think it's time for us to create a new virtual machine, which is Windows Server 2016. So click File, New Virtual Machine. Custom Advance, Workstation 15.x. I will install the operating system later. Next, choose Microsoft Windows and look for Windows Server 2016. Next, the name of it and the location where it will be saved. Next, the ISO that I will give to you only support the BIOS as of now, so I'll choose BIOS. The processor should at least be higher, but I think as of now, I'll go with 2. Guys, 2 gig is enough, but if you can make it 4 gig, that will be better. The network type doesn't matter again, whatever you choose right now, since we're gonna change that later. The controller type, LSI Logic SAS. 
SCSI for my disk type. I'll create a new virtual disk. Since this is Windows, I'll give 60 gig of hard drive or disk space. This file for Windows Server and the summary that you did. Okay, so if you want to custom it again, you can click this one. But as of now, I'll click finish. So let's change the interface. Right click, settings. I will connect this one to my host only virtual switch. So click this one, custom, host only. Okay, and let's put the CD. Clicking the CD slash DVD SATA. Browse for it. Okay, there you go. Open and click OK. So let's start. So again, as you can see, it's loading. Going back to our Ubuntu, as you can see, you can have a live here or installation mode. So I'll use the or choose the installation mode. So click install Ubuntu. By the way, you can choose whatever language that you want to use here. But of course, I will use English as of now. Install it. Here's the keyboard layout. Again, English for that. Continue. Here, you will choose the app that you want to be installed on your Ubuntu. So you can have a normal installation such as it have web browser, utilities, Office software, games, and media player. And for minimal installation, you have a web browser and basic utilities. Since I'm gonna use this for my lab, maybe I'll choose the minimal installation. Continue. It will format the disk. That's okay. So install now. Just click continue for that. Look for your country, of course, somewhere here. Manila. Continue. Okay, you can put your name here. Okay, so again, maybe I'll put there Ryban School. There you go. So, for the password in your call. Okay, so of course, it will ask for us my password before I log in. Continue. So as you can see, as of now, it is installing. Back to our Windows. Let's set it up. Click Next. Install now. As you can see, it's taking longer compared to our Ubuntu. Let's choose Windows Server 2016 standard. Click next. Here is the license term. I accept the license term. Next. You can custom install it. We just need to at least create new for this one and click apply. No problem click next for my primary so as you can see as of now your installation or your windows is already installing we just need to wait for that again to Ubuntu it's, it's asking us to restart now so let's click that Okay, let's log in as Ryban School. So, there you go. Your Ubuntu operating system is ready to use. 
So back again to our Windows Server. Let's finalize your Windows Server 2016. Let's put the password. Click finish. Let's log in. Instead of pressing Control Alt Delete, in this case, I think you need to press Control Alt Insert. Now, it's also ready. Here is the server manager. Keynotes, make sure that your BTX or virtual technology is enabled on your BIOS so that your CPU will act as if it have a several independent computer inside because if you don't, there will be some error and it will ask you to enable it. For some computer, the BTX is already enabled. Number two, the specs of your BM rely on the specs of your PC. You cannot make the BM more powerful than your real machine. Even you try, there will be some error for sure. Three, if your PC is not capable of doing this or running multiple virtual machines, maybe you can try to lower down the specs. Or maybe now is the time for you to burn it. No, I'm just kidding. You must have an upgrade ASAP your CPU, memory, and even the hardest, since this is the key of creating a BM. Burn it, woot woot! <laughs> 4. Once you click the BM, the mouse will be inside. For you to go back to the normal window, you need to press Ctrl and Alt. A few minutes later. I have here two new operating systems with me, the CentOS and the Kali Linux. That only took me a few minutes to install. Now. I challenge you to do the same thing. Is it hard? No, because the installation of this Linux OS is almost the same with Ubuntu. Guys, it always starts with one step to achieve your goal and be better in the near future. This OS will be used soon on our future tutorial, so make sure you have it and keep posted. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope I've been informative to each and every one of you. Have a great day. Power!